the people in front of me were badly injured and then we just heard people screaming in the first car that they were trapped, they couldn't get out. Breaking news we're following from New Jersey. A train plows into a packed station in Hoboken, killing at least one person and injuring dozens. At least one person has been killed and 70 more injured three seriously after a busy commuter train crashed in New Jersey. The cause of the crash in Hoboken has just across the Hudson River from Manhattan is unknown. Investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board are traveling to the site and the CBC Stephen D'Souza is on the scene for us and joins us now live. So Stephen, take us through what happened. That's right. Investigators and emergency officials are still on the scene here at this train station, as you can see behind me. And we do know that the rescue operation uh, has concluded, so everybody has been pulled out, which is good news there. But it all happened just after 8.30 this morning, a packed commuter train on its way into the station. This is the last stop on the station before people transfer onto other trains or ferries to go into Manhattan. And it was a packed train. Many of the people had actually moved to the first two cars because that allows them easy access. But from what witnesses say, the train simply didn't stop, didn't even slow down. It hit the bumper that's at the end of the track, flew up in the air and continued on. It didn't stop until it hit a wall in the waiting area of the train station and that caused significant damage inside, a wreck of uh, twisted metal and wires and cables and people on the train unsure exactly what happened, unsure at one point whether or not to get off the train or to remain on. It was a sea of confusion and witnesses described exactly how it went down. Here's what uh, one witness had to say. I heard a bomb-like explosion that was maybe not concentrating right on. I was looking in this direction. As soon as I heard it, it was right there in front of me, went through the bumper block, flew through the air, through the depot. Now, this is uh, one of the, the busiest stations, the fifth busiest station here in New Jersey. An estimated 15,000 people come through here every day. And so the danger was not only the people on the train, but the people waiting on the platform as well. And as you mentioned off the top, uh, dozens of injured, three critical uh, in hospital right now. Uh, a number were taken to hospital, what one hospital official described as the walking wounded with fractures, lacerations. Uh, many of those have been treated and released. But we are, uh, Andrew, as you mentioned off the top as well, waiting for a news conference from New Jersey Transit officials as well as uh, the governor, uh, Chris Christie, is expected on site to tour the site as well in the next hour mm -hmm. or two. And of course, the key question is what happened? Why did this happen? What's the latest uh, so far that we know on the investigation, Stephen? We understand that the National Transportation Safety Board does have uh, investigators on their way here, and they are going to, to be the lead in this investigation. And the question, as you say, is what happened? what caused this train to continue through the station and not come to a stop, not even slow down from what witnesses are saying. Uh, some witnesses also saying that they didn't hear any sort of warning, uh, a train horn or anything, uh, signifying that the train wasn't about to stop. Uh, of course, there are going to be a number of factors they're going to look into. Mechanical error, uh, human error among those. We do know that the train is equipped with the so-called black box, which measures a number of, uh, of the train systems and gives a sense of how fast it was going, whether or not the brakes were applied. A lot of things investigators are going to be looking at, whether there's any structural issues on the track itself. Uh, so a number of issues that they're going to be looking at as they try to piece together what happened here. But for now, as you can see, there are still a number of officials on scene looking at the structure uh, to make sure that that is safe. But uh, there's still a lot of things to look out for, and we will be uh, looking out for the news conference expected hopefully in the next uh, half hour or so. Stephen, thank you. The CBC Stephen D'Souza live in Hoboken, New Jersey. Now, witnesses have been describing what they saw as the train crashed into the station. They've said people on the station concourse were hit by the train as it came off the tracks. It just didn't stop. It just, it, it, it was like a, a big crash and then everything from the ceiling just fell in. Did you see injuries? How bad? I I don't think anybody on the, the in the car that I was in. I think people got some head injuries from stuff that was falling from the ceiling. But um, I think I think the train hit people on like in the Hoboken terminal that were standing waiting to get on trains. I think. Yeah. It's like I basically was walking with him, and then I just heard people screaming. And I just see a big train coming, and uh, the train just basically came straight into the uh, you know, off the tracks. Uh, I just don't know where the waiting room is. Just walk like maybe 
30 seconds past track two, track three, track five. A train came in on track five. I'm assuming it must have been coming in fast. Uh, and uh, I walked in uh, Dunkin' Donuts to get a coffee. As soon as I got in line, you just heard a, like a bomb, like kaboom. And so everybody froze, and I said, oh, my God, I heard water. I said, are we sinking? You know, I thought a bomb went off. So I ran outside and just saw people jumping out of the train, so I ran over to help them. And when I ran over, I didn't even realize I stepped over a dead person, you know, just how fast. So I stood back in the ceiling like it was going to fall. So the police was having me keep everybody back. And then I just saw, like, rain, water coming down. The engineer was dead. His body was slumped over.